basically i started following mon shosa from my second year that is 2022 may i guess after that the preparation came recently after one year after the introduction of preparation i came to know about you screening questions like you done switching of capacitors those questions those are really hard it might not come for gate directly but it somehow will help you in solving the problem after preparation some of the concepts like in state space analysis from control system and in analog morphets yeah and in digital era from its final state machine before that i never understood about the final state machine every time it is confusing only hi everyone and welcome back to prefusion i'm anish and today we have got pavan kumar with us so he has secured a great rank in gate 2025 double examination that is 154 air 154 so let's get to know about pavan and his gate journey hello sir good evening everyone i am pavan kumar i am from andhra pradesh i i am currently studying btech final year in vnit nagpur and i secured ar 154 in gate double e in 2025 and i secured ar 900 in gate ece in 2025 okay okay so uh, this was your uh, like first attempt or like you attempted gate examination previously as well like in your third year yes sir in gate third year i attempt in that that is my first attempt okay so what was your marks around uh, during that point of time sir my marks at that time was around 44 or 45 okay and this year how much marks are you getting around 61.66 so like what have you like changed i think 44 is around like 2000 or 1500 rand something uh, which i remember so what changed this year how you do 1000 1000 1100 in between that okay 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 so how did you prepare this year like uh, did you again studied everything from scratch or you did not study everything from scratch you like in between you studied few subjects what was just throughout journey what was your schedule no sir i didn't studied for this attempt from this scratch basically in third year while i'm preparing for the third year gate at that time i used to start with electrical core subjects it took me huge time nearly it took around 6 months or 7 months for me for covering only four subjects like network theory power electronics machines and power systems after completing those subjects i reached december i think at that time my nsm is there i completed my nsm and gate is within two months i guess at that time it is around feb 11 my nsm completed around it december 7 or 8 then no time is there for me that's why i completed digital electronics and few more subjects like measurements and i completed digital electronics measurements and control systems i completed half previously and i completed like compensators and controllers later part sir in my class 12th also my physics is somewhat good in that's why emft i didn't study it much but i am able to manage to solve both questions also which came in 2020 point because emft for double e will be basic only they won't ask that much depth if we say it will be like easier than class 12 je means only emft level means in that's why i attempted both questions without preparation like i used to solve only pyqs and i attempted and in that attempt i managed to get around 1000 1100 rand and later on i covered remaining subjects and i at that time i i joined the prefusion telegram group also in that you used to keep the like printable notes something in that yeah yeah one page only there will be four slides or yeah you just about that for seeing is there any new terms there are some useful concepts like after seeing your slides only i used to get the in the stair space there would be a matrix a which is diagonalizable with that property we can solve many questions before that i don't know like that some of the important key points i go to know from that and i know the videos which are you which you will keep as screening questions in your channel those won't help me much for the gate by used to solve but i used to solve those questions because that helped me to build the concepts and thinking skills those are really good questions those questions they won't ask much in gate 
but they can ask in some of the campus placement interviews like so like you are talking about like he is talking about my playlist right that in my channel i have a playlist and i was creating questions this okay he talk about a playlist like in my, I, yeah okay. i used to follow very less youtube channels sir in very three or four in that both of you i am following sir i used to follow himanshu sir from 2022 onwards he also he also posting some of the good questions on analog electronics network theory i used to solve those also those are really helpful okay 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 so yeah okay you uh, like saw all those videos so then let's come to like your gate journey so you had completed the subject like when did you complete the subjects uh, like did you complete whole, all syllabus or like you still left out this year also few no sir i completed whole syllabus this whole subject so basically it took him like two years to prepare so it's very good if you start your preparation from early third year that will be very good for you so that you can complete all the subjects okay so uh, now let's get to know like what, what when did you complete all the subjects sir i used to complete all the subjects by april only means the remaining subjects i just after the gate i started because that rank anyhow won't help me in the pre final year okay either i won't get any good amp tech or i won't get any psu third year guys are not eligible in that way after the gate all i used to start the preparation for next year i managed to complete the left syllabus which are left means like some of the subjects like analog electronics i used to watch so you, you completed this uh, like previous year april only you completed the whole like whole syllabus ah uh, so it's pre yeah, that 2024 april 2024 yes so 2024 april you finished so you had still like almost around 10 months 10 to 9 months so how did you revise because once you will come to october you may forget all the core subjects that you had studied previously so what was your revision strategy so through questions only i used to revise mainly the concepts by solving some of the standard questions okay so standard questions like uh, was it like from the test series or pyqs or like it was standard books sir pyqs the questions which i marked the those only i solved again i won't solve all the questions because in pyqs nearly 30 to 40 percent only there will be a good questions and helpful questions in that's why i marked those questions and i solved like the test series questions like i took two test series medis in the academy those are helpful which i bookmarked those questions after attempting i used to take very huge time for analysis like after attempting one full subject test i used to take nearly one day for the analysis only means i used to, means after the exam i won't go to solution directly i used to see where i got the wrong i used to go to two to three methods in different directions for analyzing that okay okay so and, and how did you remove your silly mistakes say what was your plan for removing the silly mistakes no sir it i am not it i not about the silly mistakes or oh, this continuing from class 12 also it that to 12 mistakes tend to fall not silly mistakes happen that still i am unable to remove. but i able to mitigate it or like practicing only but exam temperament is the thing which plays very crucial role in getting the rank okay so so what are the exam temperament basically so this year right paper was uh, like than previous year it was on the easier side than the previous year so what were you thinking like oh do i need to attempt more so paper is like feeling easy so i need to attempt more or like you were just chill whatever will happen happen i will just go according to my plan ah uh, whatever will happen will happen i attempted whatever i can do i attempted those only if i okay. try to attempt all the questions then again negative marking will come that will absolutely will be flourish after the exam and that's why i not attempted all the questions like tukka marna ye sab nahi kiya tha mujhe okay kya pata hai wahi laga ke acha theek hai theek hai ha to tukka nahi mana okay so like how, what marks you used to get in the test series and like in test series i used to get around 60 by 66 like that uh, consistently i got 60 by 60 and in the okay and uh, any time you got very low marks in test series like was there any time you were uh, marks? basically one two test at the initial stage i used to get very low Uh, like what was the marks if you can say 40 40 oh okay. means medium level of test hota hai na sir basic level medium level and advanced level 
At the starting stage, I attempted advanced level directly. At that time, I dropped pocket. Okay, that you should never do. Okay, that you should never do. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. So yeah. So uh, that was your journey basically. So how many mocks totally you were uh, you gave like, and since when you started giving the mock tests? Sir, first of all, I plan to give my mock test from Jan two, I guess. Up to is my exam from Jan two. And while I after the vacation of the winter holidays, when I am coming back to the college, someone stolen my laptop bag in the train, sir. At that time, I lost my all the short notes and everything. Again, it took nearly eight to ten days to recall those and to write those roughly. At that time, I watched your printable notes and those things. I used to recall those from. I used to recall the concepts from those nicely. Okay, I lost my whole control system notes. I lost my whole power electronic. Two, two, three subjects which are very high weightage. Those I lost in my train set. In that way, I took. Some more time, nearly eight to ten days to revision. After that, I start mock test and I give nearly twelve to fifteen mock test, which are sufficient for the assessment of your performance and for the revision. Okay, okay. So that was the end. Was it excellent? Yeah. Ah, uh, and I won't attempt it continuously by taking the gap of one day. I attempted alternative days. I attempted and in the between day, I used to revise those concepts. So how you used to revise? So basically, you used to revise the question only, or you used to see the printable notes as well sometimes, or you had again making us make short notes. You had again made short notes. No, sir. At the final revision, when I am giving the test series, full length test series, I used to see directly the printable also. I uh, I didn't have that much time to write four notes. Okay. Okay. No, no. Short notes you had made separately, or like you uh had not. No, sir. Uh, after. Never I made short notes, but I used to write some of the important formulas. Means directly not formulas also means key points. 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 Key points.
Definitely those are very helpful like intuitive analysis of the circuits, body plot of the circuits. Those won't ask in gate directly but somehow it will be helpful. Yeah. Those I watched from the, the monster sir. And after completion of gate double E for EC, I watched those transmission line videos. Some questions directly came from that series only. One or two questions. That is really helpful. Bro. Okay. And any tips if you want to give to the future aspirants? Like in short, just in one minute. Uh, don't spend too much time on solving. Don't spend much time. Don't think giving much time will be helpful for gate unnecessarily like giving 15 hours, 16 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours without much concentration. Even though with concentration you give 6 to 8 hours, it will be sufficient. And don't solve unnecessarily large number of questions like same models, repeated models number of times. Solve the quality questions, which are somewhat new questions. Because the gate nowadays is shifting paper of gate W and DC is shifting towards the upper side. If it comparatively if we comparatively seeing that the question also shifting somewhat on the newer side. Previous year they asked some good questions on signals and system. This year they asked two to three good questions of analog electronics. I said that the RC question is Yeah, one RC question also there, right? Uh, squared pulse response. Yeah, that was a good question. Those are very good questions. If we won't have much conceptual clarity, you can't solve those questions. Simply solving those questions which are formula based won't help us anymore. And that's why I used to recommend to the students solve some good questions and spend quality time rather than spending 15 hours, 15, 16 hours in front of book. And uh, we have to represent the preparation of the whole year in one exam, single exam. That is absolutely tough. And it is that exam temperament also will come by practicing and the environment which you practice by time bound practice though in that only we the exam temperament also will come without even though you practice much even though we prepare much if the day is bad we can't do anything that's okay okay so yeah thank you thank you for Pavan for coming to our channel i hope our viewers viewers got to know a lot about gate preparation and uh, tips and tricks so yeah we will meet you guys again thank you for joining us Thanks. Thank you everyone for watching the video till the end. If you also want to prepare in the same manner with prep fusion for gate 126 and 127 examination, then you can visit our website and apply the code TITANS15 on all our paid courses and you will get 15% off. The complete information regarding all the courses have been shared in this particular video which you can check out by clicking on the link that has been posted in the description box. Best of luck to everyone and happy learning.